time for my final guest. He's taken time out between starring in Little Britain and going out with every beautiful woman in the country to be here tonight. Please welcome David Walliam! <laughs> Why did you choose that piece of music? Boys, 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 I'm looking for a good time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because when I was a kid, I really fancied Sabrina, the singer. Mm. Do you remember the video? Oh, my God, she's in that swimming pool in the white top. I know, I remember being very, very um, aroused. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Sabrina now? I don't know. Can you find out? <laughs> <laughs> 118, 118. <laughs> Sabrina. <laughs> Now, you've written... A the, book. A book. Yeah, yeah. The Boy in the Dress. Yes. Mm. You don't help yourself, do no. you? No. <laughs> he doesn't, does he? Isn't it nice, though? It is. There's a little boy that starts to cross-dress called Dennis, isn't mm. he? Yeah. And is that based on anyone? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did... As... When I was a child, I had mm. an older sister, Julie, who was a couple of years older, and she used to um, dress me up sometimes in a bridesmaid's dress and a fur hat. I was about um, 24 at the time. And no, she used to dress me up. So it's something I liked as a kid. And also, I went to an all boys school. Oh, that doesn't help, does it? No. <laughs> and no one wanted to play the girls' parts in the plays. Oh. And for some reason, the teachers always used to ask me because they knew that there was something I enjoyed. So I, from an early age, I was, I was cross-dressing, yeah. Oh, well, there's a picture of you actually cross-dressing. Look That's at nice, that. <laughs> that a few wolf whistles at a nine-year-old child. You're ashamed of yourself. <laughs> wolf whistling at a child. It's a sweet picture, isn't it? It's not even our dog. That's the weird thing. <laughs> There was, was another dog taking the picture. Oh. <laughs> now, um, yes. what are you hoping to prove with this book? Are you hoping... <laughs> hoping to prove? No, no. I'm just hoping people read it and enjoy it. It's sort of based on sort of 8 to 12-year-olds. And the theme of the book is difference, and it's celebrating difference. And I'm using the sort of cross-dressing as a metaphor for that. Are you going to write a follow-up? Yes, I am. What's it called? It's called Mr Stink. Mr Stink. <laughs> and it's, um, it's a different book. It's about a little, a little girl who befriends a tramp. And, um... Is it a cross-dressing tramp? No. <laughs> well, I might wear the Guardian today. <laughs> <laughs> Towards the... <laughs> um... Towards the end, he, he does have a makeover and he does actually oh, have yeah. makeup on at the end. But the great thing is both books have been illustrated by Quentin Blake, oh, who oh, illustrated yeah. all the Roald Dahl books, so oh, that was a real, real oh. coup to get him. So I'm, I'm really proud of the books, actually. Because I've uh, written a children's book as well about um, my experiences as a young boy, and it's uh, The Boy Who Touched <laughs> Animals. <laughs> Quentin Blake didn't really want to do any drawing. <laughs> no, <it's not> yeah. <laughs> oh, he turned me down. Now, we went out uh, to oh, Posh yeah. Do recently. Yes, we did. Natalie and Brulia, yes. she was with us. Why don't you marry and make an honest woman of her? She is adorable. You the... make such a lovely couple. Well, it's very kind of you to say that, but um, she isn't really into marrying me. I mean, the words that she used... Oh. No, oh. I think the phrase she used is... Oh, look um, at there, look. She said, you're a vile sexual predator. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think something like that. No, I know, we're just really good friends. It's really important to have some good female friends. But she's, she's lovely. I mean, I'd marry her if she wanted to, but she doesn't want to. She's adorable. Cos you always seem to be in the oh, yeah. paper with um, different women. Yeah. How do you pick them up? Well, <laughs> I just meet them out. And, you know, I, like, I just like spending time with women. I like to go sh yeah. take them out for dinner, go shopping. That you're, kind of thing. Because you're a bit like an illegal taxi driver. <laughs> you lure them into a false sense of security. <laughs> you're making your gate, and then you pounce. <laughs> well, a lot of these ladies are just friends of mine. As you yeah. can see that night, it was just great, you know, we're, we're oh, just I really know. good friends. You yeah. were like a social butterfly. 
Well, you were as well. You were very, very popular. Oh, I know, People yes. thought you'd maybe won a, <laughs> won a competition to be there, but it was so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> No, they thought. <laughs> 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 Have a little picture with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you get to be here? You yeah. enjoying it? <laughs> 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 now I know you're too gentlemanly to talk about what you do with uh, your lady friends, mm. but I'm just going. Can you just cough to confirm if anything has happened with the following? Because you've all been linked with these people, yes? Jerry Allowell. Someone else coughed. <laughs> Lisa Snowden. What have I got to do? Cough if I... Cough. Just give that... <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Abby Titmus. <clears throat> Kate Moss. <clears throat> Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, my aunt um, died recently, and oh. she... Oh, I know. And um, I found a bunch of her clothes. Oh. And I knew you were coming round. I thought you might like to have a finger through them and see if there's anything you'd like I to like, wear. I'd love to have a finger. Where'd yeah. you get it? Well, let me bring them over, just have a look. Oh, OK. <laughs> Do you want me to stand here? Oh, no, yeah, as you can see, she was a very classy lady. Oh, lo oh, oh this is lovely stuff. This is yes. a treasure trove, isn't it? I know, I know. So I think, what, anything you fancy putting on Definitely. or Definitely. There's some lovely glasses here. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. And, um, <laughs> put a dress on if you want. Love. Nice hat. <laughs> are you going to, are you going to put a dress on? Oh, yeah, I'll put a dress on, oh. yeah. <laughs> you love tough dressing. Might regret this at some point in the future, <laughs> no. like like five minutes in the future. No. finished humiliating me yet? I have finished. You've been <laughs> wonderful. Dawn French kissed you. Yes. Did she put her tongue in? Half of it. 